Most people have never even thought about what makes them do what they do. What makes you get out of bed in the morning? Is it because you have to? You've got to put food on the table for yourself or your family? Or do you leap out of bed ready to smash the day and achieve everything you can so that you can make a difference? Or, like I didn't for so long, maybe you don't have a why or you're having trouble finding your why. I struggled with this for so long. I used to think, maybe I'm just not passionate enough about this. But then I just kept doing it. I was driven to because it's all I wanted to do. I don't have any interest in doing anything else. So there must have been a passion there somewhere. But I would always dismiss it. I think I'd put up barriers because I didn't like the concept. I always thought it wasn't for me. But as I listened to different educators, I kept hearing about it. So I thought I probably should investigate it a bit more. You mightn't know it, but you do have a why. If you don't know what it is, you just haven't found it yet. There are several reasons why we do what we do, and here's one of mine, because I like stories. Back in the early days, when I was trying everything I could to make money from photography, I photographed a girl named Emma. She was a carer in an aged care facility, and she was a shy, quiet girl, quite unremarkable, and just like lots of other girls. My friend Annette was working with me at the time and had done a fantastic job of getting Emma ready with hair and makeup. So we did the shoot as usual and she went on her way. I didn't have an editor back then and was doing everything myself. So there was a second appointment on the following day for the sales presentation. When Emma arrived for the viewing session, everything was ready and the mood was set, complete with the excitement language that precedes a viewing. I was really happy with what I was about to show her, so I started the slideshow and I was gauging her response as it played. No emotion at all. She was completely deadpan. And I was starting to get confused and a little bit worried. I hadn't seen this before. So the slideshow finished and she still hadn't said a word. I was thinking, oh no, she hates them. So what did you think, I asked her. She turned to look at me and she had tears streaming down her face. And she said, I actually am beautiful, aren't I? I'd completely misread her reaction. She absolutely loved her portraits. But that brought me to a point where I thought, why can't she see that? Has someone told her she wasn't beautiful? Does she have a poor opinion of herself? I was honestly gobsmacked by her reaction. But it made me realise that as humans, we see what we don't like about ourselves until someone shows us something different, something we can't deny. And that's what I'd done. Without knowing it, I'd changed the way she saw herself. And the consequence was that she'd changed the way she felt about herself. What a great thing. Through my photography and the vision I had for that photo shoot, this shy girl had blossomed. And I felt I'd made a difference to her life. I'd found my why, and it's never changed. Since that day, I've learned that this is not an isolated thing. I saw more and more clients who had really poor opinions of themselves. Why do I do this? Because I have an opportunity to help change the way people see themselves. And if I can make a positive difference to the way someone feels about themselves, then what better reward is there in life than that? So to summarise, finding your why isn't as easy as people think. But don't be too concerned if you can't identify your why yet. It's there and it'll come out. I think the trick is being able to recognise it when you see it. When you find it, I hope that, like me, you'll understand why you're not interested in doing anything else and continue on this journey that you're meant to be on. I can help you with that. It's all I do now. And I want you to be able to help people feel like that. It's so rewarding. If you found this valuable, go and have a look at www.makemoneyfromphotography.com.au for more great resources. And before you go, make sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to get the latest videos.